That's right. It's our Christmas special, and that's uh, Gino <laughs> shaking his hat. <laughs> what hey, we're having, you guys gonna say? <laughs> we're having we're having fun in the studio today. Yeah, sure. jingle bells and everything. So thank you for joining us on one of our holiday specials. We uh, of course want to wish you a very Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, all that good stuff, and just good cheer. You know what's interesting, Don, is that I feel like this is the first holiday season. You know, we talk a lot about the economy. I feel like this is the first holiday season that feels like the holidays in years. I hope you feel like the holidays wearing that hat. (laughs) Well, no, you know, for so many years, everybody was in the doldrums, being broke, couldn't buy gifts, couldn't just barely hanging on. It felt like this year, it was different. It felt like everybody had, you know, first of all, I know a lot of people are already not working. I see a lot of that happening. Um, so I just feel like this year, the holidays are back. All right. Well, we're back. <coughs> Excuse me. And we want to make sure we hit the last couple of subjects. We're going to talk about three quick things with Mr. Rob Schwartz, with Director of Community Outreach for Eureka Review and an independent college counselor with Total College Planning. Let's talk, Rob, real quick about, uh, the, we talked about the cost of a college counselor. And we'll talk about the cost to get help with an ACT and SAT preparation. And then we'll go into the list of Absolutely. great colleges that are still available that you could uh, you know, put your admissions towards. I think, I think your, your families listening right now are going to be very pleased. So I hope you hang on for five minutes and I'll have some great stuff for you. To, to answer your, your first question, um, the, the how do uh, families really save by making an investment in someone who is a trained, certified college counselor? One great example, I worked with a family last year, uh, really didn't have any guidance or understanding of what the whole system was about. I walked them through from the beginning of the junior year all the way until May 1st, which is signing day. Uh, The young lady I worked with was admitted to six of the eight schools she applied to. Her top two choices admitted her, and the second choice offered her a guaranteed $88 thousand dollars over four years Woo. wow so 88k i feel pretty good that the investment that family made for my services was more than than paid off in and most importantly to me and hopefully to her parents she's at a college where she's happy and she can be successful that's, that's all i college care about. too it's a great school seton hall university yeah no absolutely. doubt absolutely yeah nicely done thank you very much yeah so no wonder you like your job so much i do love my job <laughs> and i get i get happy people who contact me and say hey i had someone literally yesterday say you know rob i was really going to have you take a look at my northwestern essays but i don't need you to because i'm going to wharton i mean oh, they're wow. going to the business school at upenn that's the cream of the crop wow so it, it has been a a tremendous start to the college season already for me and, and some of the clients i work with to answer your second question about what is the cost of doing a test preparation program with Eureka Review, um, it is, again, tailored to an individual student. We have programs that go uh, 20, 90-minute lessons. That is the, that's the whole enchilada. You're looking for a top score. You're looking to start from relative scratch. Um, that's the program I'd recommend. It's our premier program. It's $39.99. All the bells and whistles are included. There's a 200-point improvement guarantee on the SAT as part of that program. Wow, nice. No tutoring company offers that kind of a guarantee, but Eureka Review does. It's called results, baby. That is exactly right. And we're not in the business of giving money back, so guess what happens? <laughs> Scores go up. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> um, but we also have programs that are as few as six lessons, which are far more affordable for a family who's looking at a targeted piece of help. So someone who says, you know what, I took the ACT and my math and my English and my reading, they were all great. My science score needed some help. Great, let's do a program just in ACT science cool. based on your needs. And it works. I didn't know you could be so specific when, when needed. When you're a one-on-one tutoring company, we can do anything. All right, again, Rob Schwartz, Director of Community Outreach for Eureka Review. How do they get a hold of you, Rob? Uh, email is probably the easiest way to get a hold of me. It's Rob, R-O-B, at EurekaReview.com. Pretty easy. And also go to DonAndGino.com. We've been uh, posting Rob's information. Thanks to Furman at AP Productions. Uh, throwing out your info, buddy. We certainly appreciate it. <coughs> All right. So before we uh, get further ado, we've been teasing about this incredible list you have because some of you out there, you know, we found the college. <laughs> Gino, I love how you put that. <laughs> That's me. The yeah. college for procrastinators. procrastinators. Yeah, yeah the these colleges are the colleges that know that there's plenty of smart kids that are going to drag their feet on their application. Yeah. No, they're just really busy with their AP classes. Yeah, right. Anyway, <laughs> why, don't we, why don't we share some of that list? Absolutely, guys. Um, when we talk about traditional college admissions in Southern California, especially here in the Santa Clarita Valley, two school types come up. 
Cal State University system and the UC system. Those deadlines are long gone. You cannot apply to any of those schools anymore. The deadline was the 30th of November. Then you have schools like USC and the University of Washington. Their deadline was the next day for priority. You can still apply to USC, but you are no longer eligible for scholarship money, which is kind of important at $60,000 a year. Ouch. Ouch. So what I've done today is not just for procrastinators, but for students who are looking to broaden their horizons and look at other schools in the West, because the Santa Clarita Valley, not exactly known for sending kids all over the globe, but great schools in the Western part of the United States that those deadlines are still yet to hit us. So here's the list. Take notes, write it down. If you need the list fed back, contact me at my email address. Here we go. Boise State in Idaho, their deadline for priority is May 15th. And you're in if you like blue field. That's for sure. (laughs) Uh, Cal Lutheran University in Thousand Oaks, just a few minutes away, their deadline is February 1st. Colorado State, if you want to be a Ram. Ah, I love Fort Collins. Fort Collins is a great college town. Just was there last week. Absolutely. February 1st. Uh, For someone looking for a smaller, terrific liberal arts college experience, Lewis and Clark College in Oregon, Jan 15th. Uh, Loyola Marymount University, just down the way from UCLA, an outstanding Jesuit school, Jan 15. Uh, Northern Arizona University, which has picked up a NAU lot of steam. And Flagstaff, NAU. yeah. That's right. Beautiful area. A lot of Santa Clarita kids have found it to be a great fit yep. for them. Uh, their priority deadline is March 1st, so you still have plenty of time. For the competitive school students out there who are looking for a small liberal arts college not far away, Occidental College. Uh, you may have heard of this guy named Barack Obama. He spent a little time there. Yeah. <laughs> it's raised their profile quite a bit. Their deadline is January 10th, so if you want to apply to Oxy, you still have a little bit of time left. Uh, Oregon State University in Corvallis, generally known as the, uh, the, the doormat of the Pac-12, but an outstanding academic school, Absolutely. and it's beautiful. Uh, their priority deadline is February 1st. Uh, inside of California, one of my favorite private schools, again, Jesuit in nature, Santa Clara University. Right. Beautiful school, terrific programs. Their deadline, January 7th, so you've got a couple weeks to still make that happen. University of Arizona, if you're looking for a UCLA-type experience but you don't have those grades and test scores, U of A is a great very school. accessible school. Yeah, a lot of friends have gone all there. Of, you know, what's really interesting, Rob, is these are all great schools. These are all Every, great everyone schools. you're mentioning, it, we've all heard of and all have a great reputation. I think he kind of planned that. <laughs> Would I lie? <laughs> uh, their deadline is May 1st. I, guys, I just have so many I want to get to before we hit our, our the conclusion. I know, Don, you are a huge Colorado fan. You love Absolute the state. the Buffaloes. I got three schools. I got Colorado Boulder, Jan 15. Oh, love I've that. got Colorado Denver, July 22nd for the Procrastinators 101. There you go. <laughs> and Colorado Springs, which is much smaller but has a terrific reputation, is a rolling admission school, which means... They take them as they come in, so the sooner you apply, the better. Nice. Last two, I've got Western Washington University right on the coast in uh, the north end of Washington, January 31st, another up-and-comer, and and the University of Utah, April 1st. Uh, Not Great information, as always. We never have enough time with you, Rob. Glad you're going to be part of our APRG group because having a great college planner in in our group is awesome so again you can get a hold of rob at rob at eureka review.com great stuff buddy always a pleasure to be here gentlemen it's always always fun and i look forward to our next all right now i want to throw a shout out to shannon fosna our producer of course ap productions and in the house today checking out the board is my favorite nephew that's right mr harry helfrich he's checking out the board because he's going to mi learning to be a, a smart guy in the music industry. So he's here checking things out. Thanks for joining us, Harry. And we want to thank you for joining us. We don't want you to go away because we have another great hour coming up. I'm telling you, we have uh, some great information uh, you don't want to miss. Well, one of the things we're going to be discussing again a little bit is Taper Talk, Don. It's so important and what it means to you, what it means to real estate, and what it means for 2014. I mean, it's really going to change the economic climate next year. Uh, the fact that we're pulling away from the stimulus, and I think it's a great thing. I think ultimately it's going to be really good. Well, don't go away because we have Jeff Hunter back by popular demand from Real Pro Advantage on the Don Angino Real Estate and Finance Show. Don't go away. Enjoy the halftime show. Well,